Ciao a tutti, benvenuto a Imola. Welcome everybody to the Autodroma Internazionale Enzo e Dino Ferrari. We are thinking of Ayrton Senna and of Roman Ratzenberger as well. As Emanuele Piro waves the flag away here, the inside line, the driver's left, is usually the best here. It's going to be a long wait for the green. We go. The field swarms away. It's already three deep behind the Lamborghini There's already a crash as well. Contact in the pit wall. Smoke behind, but it is Ferrari. One, two, three. Kubitz is very wide. Look at the way the cars are swerving around. One Peugeot out, one BMW out. And the Isolta is in the gravel trap. Jean Calverne will try and drive through there. Contact in the LMG G3 field. Yeah, some of the GTs as well touched each other. I saw a car spin round and end up in the barrier uh, on the main straight even as they jostled for position there. Contact in the front as well. John Carl Verne in his Otto Fraschini seemed to have been the cue ball coming in late from behind. And he hit the Alpine, which went into the BMW, which went into the Peugeot. Yeah, so this car we're on board with now, the Peugeot had yeah, contact from behind. There's the Azotta, that's the view from the Azotta Fraschini. So the Azotta hit that's, the Alpine, it was, that it, then the, hit it was a domino effect. It was yeah. exactly that. Oh, it all goes quiet and you're facing backwards in that number 15 BMW. Scary moment for Marco Wittmann. So the Porsche has made it back. That's the Porsche, Manti EMA Porsche. Left rear on the 94 car being changed. It's the steering damage to that Alpine, I think, is going to be the big problem. Right rear puncture for Marco Wittmann as he comes in. Oh, there's trouble for the Iron Dames. Is that a puncture? And you saw she was just deliberating whether to come into the pits or not and missed the moment, committed to go on to another lap. Look at this fight coming up towards the uh, the second chicane here at the Villeneuve chicane. The Lexus on the inside of the 777 D station car. Great fighting in the LMG T3 category as well. Do your line, don't drop in the Ford. They need to fall in this car. This on the road is too dangerous. Fall in the Ford. Copy, copy. We already reported. We already reported. The team are on it. Let's see if that, that uh, flag does come their way in. That was the car that we saw oh. go over the grass earlier. Has he got a braking problem, maybe? I lost the gearbox. Clutch hill. I lost the gearbox. Let's have a listen to this. And also, keep an eye on the left hand on the, on the steering wheel. You can see he's gone down to six, fifth gear. So he's definitely got the gears there at that moment. And it's an overcut level, it's an overtake in the pits with the 83 on the 50. So did the 83 no. not change tyres at no. all? That would that would explain no. the swap of positions there. So right, that's what's lost him the position for car 50, but he has got right. one uh, tyre that's in much better condition. But I think track position is your absolute key round here. So we are fighting with the Porsche behind you. They put a bit less fuel trying to undercut. Oh. So we did a good job there keep focus on tyre. We are now into Formula One fuel strategy yeah. race management. The perfect spectator view as he sees this battle. Look at the speed of the Ferrari in a straight line actually. That might give him the advantage down towards turn two. He does. And that's the first proper overtake that we've seen in the hypercar category. That was a very good move there by Nilsson. Gets the job done. Now it's Rene Rast turn potentially. Valentino Rossi uh, and Marco Bezzecchi in the garage today. Marco, one of the VR46 riders in MotoGP, and of course, he and Valet will spend all their off days together at the VR46 ranch. And it could be, moments, yeah, it could be oh. moments like this. This was last lap where the, the two of them get past. Is that the one of the cool links? The Iron Links, uh, uh, the the Iron Iron links, links sorry, yeah. yeah so, yeah. And it, it's all it takes, you know, if, if that had played out any differently, could have been contact very easily between any one of those cars. Mike, we tried to pass him in a pit. Hang on tight. Five laps to go. Yeah, it, it's a little bit like um, the Italian job. You might want to try going a little bit faster. It, it's an airbag. The airbag. onboard air jacks are not working, so they've had to put a bag under the car and inflate it. If Go you needed it. any more motivation, <laughs> you're fighting in the podium positions. 
And when I spoke to him yesterday, he said there's nothing more than what he'd love to have immediately to get onto the podium. They got tantalizingly close in Qatar. He was really looking forward to that. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's certainly, like you say, he's got the skills in this car. He's no newcomer to the world of GT racing. He's a, just a newcomer to the world of the World Endurance Championship. And you can see there on the graphic on the bottom of your screen, number 51. 80 laps on that medium set of tyres and new tyres all round for the car 50. So a very different strategy going on here between the two teammates at Ferrari. The oh, the Jota's off! It's the 12, car 12. Is that Callum Eilock at the wheel there? It is, yes. yes. So down at Toza, it's all gone wrong for him. Has that well, just been a simple lock-up or is there another car involved? We're going to see, I'm sure. Can't see any other cars around him just yet. I'd say no. that was just a bit of a lock-up, wasn't it? Again, Eduardo Mortaro monstering the car over the curbs. Look at the way the Porsche gets held up. Here's your chance. That's why you can never give up, because you never know the moment everything's going to head in your direction. I sense the frustration from a lot of drivers today in that they can't get the overtakes done. This track so narrow, so many tight corners. 51 and 50, through. this is for the lead of the race, the second of the two Ferraris with hot tyres all round. Oh, it's going to be very close indeed. Yeah, defensive stuff there, but on the inside is number 50, tries again, but uh, 51 has got it covered there. There's only one rule here, do not hit the red car. Exactly, yeah, so James Collado putting up a mighty defensive drive, but he's going to be under massive pressure from Molina as they head down towards turn two. Molina's going to have to go around the long way. He might just be able to do this, but has Gallardo just about got enough tyre temperature in? He does and hangs on to the lead for now. And look how close the Lamborghini is sticking because they're slowing each other down in this battle. Hertz Team Jota close behind. That's 38 of Oliver Rasmussen. And Molina knows he's got a very limited amount of time before the tyre temperature starts to come up for Collado. Collado knows that too, and I think he's going to be all right here. He's done a brilliant, remarkable job. Oh! On the attack into Toza because of the right-hand side being brand new on the Ferrari. Full course yellow removed. Two really close battles. Oh, look at this. De Vries has got the jump on the Ferrari. He's going to get the second place away from the 50 Ferrari. Nick De Vries with a phenomenal restart straight by him and just going past us. That was an amazing restart from right. Nick De Vries. We think the raid won't last. We think the raid won't last. So we need to survive by staying out. G3 There's been a change of position. Oh, Jeff. The 50s passed the number yeah. seven. Toyota is not bringing its tyres in. All the, all the Ferrari fans are up applauding in front of us here. They watch that on the big screen. OK, wheelbox, James. Box, box. Sure. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, sure. Sure, wheelbox. For me, no. But OK, for me, no. For me, no. Well, in that oh, situation, the with James. No, but the team, in that situation, the team needs to say, we've got the radar, this is what it's likely to do. What's the track like right now? And James is clearly saying it's OK for slicks. From the Gill Trap group, and both Ferraris are in. Okay. So much for committing to the slick tyres. They've brought both of their cars in. Again, I'm not a team manager for a lot of very good reasons, but again, I don't think this is too little too late. It's the wrong choice. There's your new, uh, that's your new third place man, Brendan Hartley. It is Toyota's Kamui Kobayashi who leads Kevin Estra, you just saw in the number six Porsche, the championship leaders. There, let's see how it was done. Just a nice move down the inside, actually. Jensen gives him the room as well. Knows that uh, he'll try and go around the outside, but there's no point trying to turn in on him. Battle the second, Maxi Martin. Alongside him comes the Brazilian. And it looks as though, yes, he has got through. Augusto Farf has changed. For, in fact, that's for the lead, isn't it, of course? Because the uh, Pure Racing Manti Porsche stopped and dropped down to third. BMW gravel trapping. Is that the 20 it car? Is the 20. It is. That was the car that was in the top four. And Sheldon van der Linde brings it back out on track. Did he lose a place? And Kobayashi's got held up here on oh, Piratella. It's down to... 0.7 of a second now, look at that, got caught up behind the Corvette. Esther will try and send it down the inside into the second part of Aquaminerale, doesn't have uh, the room. 
just back, got back online. Oh. It was actually Estra that got caught slightly offline there. Still dive through on the inside down into Ravatsa one. And again, the Toyota just creeps away enough down the straight, doesn't it? A Porsche doesn't quite have the ultimate top speed. Estra off there on the gravel. He's trying everything he can. But uh, yeah, the Toyota team just saw that as well. And yeah. <laughs> It's going to be caught cool behind him as he gets down towards turn 18. We have no buffer on energy. We have no buffer, so you got to battle like this. Last lap. Brendan Hartley will hang on if he can, but Antonio Fuoco... The other cars behind them, and that's why Fuoco was able to challenge there. Brendan's having to... Oh, a lot of wide, wide, loses the place. Antonio Fuoco moves up to fourth place on the very last lap. And Toyota's number seven car is racing away at the front of the field. The number six Porsche, the number five Porsche, both scored strongly. The championship leaders will finish in second place, but it's a first win of the season for Toyota and car number seven. Great result for the number seven crew and for Nick DeFries, his first ever World Championship race win. Yeah, come on, you did it, you did it. <laughs> that is a big moment for any driver. They were superb, all three of them, and the strategy worked. And somehow, Kobayashi made it to the checker in front. Team made a great decision. I tried to not mess up. I mean, track was very challenging. And to be on the track, of course, is challenging. And I know I had, I had a lot of pressure from Car 6. They did an amazing job. But we see I had no mistake. Managed to, to be in the front. Thanks for the team and, uh, you know, big support in Italy. I was appreciate. And so, of course, these two guys made a solid job here. Fantastic. Thank you. Fortune favoured the brave in LMGT3. Not just victory, but a resounding 1-2 for BMW Team WRT. The drivers performed superbly, and it's the first four-wheel World Championship podium for Valentino Rossi. A remarkably well-driven and well-judged victory for the number seven Toyota crew. But again, Porsche Penske Motorsport scores strongly. Two cars on the overall podium. Again, Toyota with both cars firmly in the points and the number seven crew, could they be title contenders? Ferrari will be disappointed. Now third in the standings behind Porsche and Toyota. But this was a race that they could. They will learn and come back stronger next time out. Toyota Gazoo Racing claim victory from the two Porsches. The best of the Ferraris in fourth place. And that was grabbed on the last lap. BMW Team WRT judged it perfectly in tricky conditions to go 1-2 in LMGT3. And that judgment might have to come next time out as well.